came in, uh, talk about your afternoon, talk about what it meant to have a great offensive performance by your entire offensive unit. Oh, yeah, I mean, definitely, like you said, good performance by the entire offensive unit, starting with the O-line, dogs in the trenches. Oh, my goodness. And DJ, you know, making his decisions, you know, everything coming together, running the ball, allowing him to pass it better. DJ, it didn't look like you guys strayed much from the playbook of last year. A lot of, a lot of running plays. How, how much you felt like that set you up for the passing game today? I mean, sure, it makes it easier. I think you said it, man. I mean, you got a good back like Dame right here. I mean, he ran for, I don't know, 100 something yards, ran for a lot of yards. You got a great offense line in front of you. I mean, it really sets up the play action really well. I feel like Coach Ring did a really good job. Offensive line did a really good job, giving me a lot of time. I think there was one play. I don't know, man. That was probably the longest I've ever been in the pocket. I just could have made a sandwich back there. So. <laughs> That's off to the whole line, man. They played an unbelievable game today. And off the running backs ran really well. I feel like it was a good team win today. DJ, after that play, it seemed like you were just having a good time, relaxed on the sideline, yeah. joking around. When was the last time you think you had this much fun playing a game of football? Man, I don't know, man. I had fun today. But now, like you said, I think my biggest thing, man, is I want to have fun today. Uh, play stress-free. Stress -free. And uh, it was fun, man. I had a lot of fun with my brothers out there. It was fun watching the defense go to work. Coach Bray make some great calls. It was fun being out there with the offense, with the line, with the guys in the huddle. It was it was exciting, man. It was just fun. Fun to be out there to be able to play football again. DJ, Stay. sorry, DJ, you're the first quarterback in Beaver history since 1996 to throw for three touchdowns and run for two touchdowns. What does that mean for you, knowing that you did that in your first game as an Oregon State Beaver here in San Jose, and just what you've accomplished in the last several years as a quarterback and to get here to this point? Uh, I'll probably say I'm just thankful. Thankful to be a Beaver. Uh, thankful for Coach Smith for giving me the opportunity to be able to start this game against San Jose, be able to be uh, playing here with my brothers. And I just want to go out there each and every day and give my best for my brothers, be the best team that I can be. That means just handing the ball off to the running back, giving Dane 300 yards. It don't matter to me, man. I just want to get wins. That's you, all I'm about. You talked to me this past fall camp that you realized just how good your running back is in Damian Martinez. Yeah. Did he validate that once again? And what did you see from your running back? Oh, yeah, man. They did. Dane did an unbelievable job, man. Dame, Dame, is a, Dame is a legit running back. He does a really good job out the backfield, too. He had, I'm a catch, he had one, I know he had one catch a day. Like two, one or two years. catches. But no, Dan, man, Dan's legit, man. He's definitely making his case for one of the best backs in the country for real. So he's, he's excited to be able to share the backfield with him. DJ, you uh, months and months of getting ready, changing to a new school, and wondering how that first game would go. Was this the best case scenario for you or what? Yeah, that was a little sloppy at times. I feel like I missed a couple of passes, easy stuff here and there. Definitely got to get back. Practice, want to be able to watch the film, get right back to it, clean up some mistakes. But overall, man, Biggest thing, I had a lot of fun. I know my thing, I want to be able out here just have some fun, play with my brothers, go out there, not think about the game too much and overstress about it, but just go out there and enjoy it and live in the moment. Take it one play at a time for me. That was the biggest thing going to this game, and I feel like I did that. So I had a good time, and it was, it was fun playing the game today. Damien, you had a couple of great runs, but then I think you cramped up, and you were smiling there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just, um, honestly, I just feel like I said I scored on that play, but yeah, I cramped up, and yeah, no, just cramps, that's about it, really. Damn, it looked like there were a couple plays, too, where you slipped on the turf, especially in the first half. Was the field a little bit slippery today? What, what happened? Because it looked like there were a few rushes. You could have cut loose, and you just slipped. Nah, yeah, just like first game jitters, really. Just trying to – I'm seeing the whole thing, and I'm going to take off and then just trip. Are you getting yeah. jitters? Not jitters, <laughs> but like, <laughs> like, you know, you see the field, you just want to take off. And I just run a little bit too fast for myself. Did, <laughs> did you have any jitters today? Nah, nah, that's that fun, man. That's fun out there. Exciting. Be able to play in California. It's the first time I've played in California since being in college. Since I played in high school, so I'm excited to be able to be out here. I had a lot of family coming into town. I had a lot of family up here in the Bay. I was at the game, so it was good, man. I was excited to play here. A little bit of a different environment than last year's season opener for you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, definitely. I think, yeah, definitely playing. I think played Sunday today. I should play on Monday, but it was definitely, definitely a different environment. Jamie, what's it like having 99 in front of you? as a fullback. Oh, oh, my goodness. I mean, like we said, we had Jack last year with I me. Mean, Oz is definitely a lot bigger than Jack is. Uh, he can move too for his size. I mean, he's pretty good athlete. I mean, not pretty. He's a really good athlete for his size. So yeah, he's blocking. Really DJ, fast. sorry. When you were talking to uh, Aiden right before he went in, what kind of words of encouragement? What were you telling him before that series? Uh, I mean, I just said a little. So I just said, man, man just treat like high school. But Aiden doesn't really need a lot of words of encouragement. I mean, he's a, he's a ball player. He's a gamer, and I thought he did a great job out there. I think he had one series. Thought he did a really good job. Led the team down the field. Got a touchdown. But Aiden's going to be a great football player, man. I'm excited to see where he goes, man. He's going to have a great college career. i got to take it back to Isaac. I was watching you guys warm up today. It looks like he's actually got some pretty good hands. Any potential for CRB future uh, touchdown pass to him in the next couple of weeks man, or anything we'll see, like man. that? I can't give up all the game plan yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Damien, a question for you. Obviously, last season, so close to the 1,000-yard mark. You're now more than a tenth of the way there. 
What what does this mean for you in your second year as a beaver to be already so dominant in the field and still growing and knowing that that 1,000 mark yard reach is potentially in reach for you this season? I don't know. I mean, yeah, I mean, I just want to keep my head down working just one game at a time so I can get there, really. I saw the team walking off the field, and it just felt like we accomplished something and we're moving. It felt like a business, it looked like a business trip reaction. Is that kind of the way it felt when you guys walked off the field today? Yeah, I think so. I mean, being a mean, you want to go into the game. I mean, take it one game at a time. But yeah, no, I think we're on to the next game. We'll watch this film. We'll finish it up tonight. We got a short week leading to UC Davis, so we'll be able to get on the field. But yeah, just have one game mentality. Move on to the next game. But it was, it was good, though. Thanks, guys. Thank yeah, you.